Oh, Chris got pretty wrecked at the start of that. So he needs to sit. That was a headshot, that's what did it to him. He's wearing 150, 150. Oh, on the front line, he's wearing 150, 150. That's part of the fucking problem. Let's give him at least heavier armor. He got hit in the head. So we can put, add him to the wounded. Going over there right now. I don't mind having a bunch of wounded guys. It's actually kind of okay. Cycle them in and out. Gal globbled again. This is who is Gal? He's a hunter, archer. Good roll there. Great roll there. Okay. Do I play any musical instruments? I do not play any musical instruments. Nope. I am musically challenged. Uh, banner bro. Nice. Nice. Adequate. It's literally the lowest it can go. Did I play any growing up? I was required in high school to take two years of either art or music. Both of which I wanted no part of. I took music. I wanted to play uh, saxophone, saxophone or trumpet, but both were very highly picked and I entered the school district late. So I played clarinet for two years. How was it? I fucking hated it. I was so glad when that was done. I thought it was unbelievable. You know, you ever, you, I mean, many of you are, I'm sure, going to work day in and day out. And probably many of you are in salary jobs. You know how salary jobs can just kind of add on time whenever they fucking feel like it? They're like, oh yeah, you're gonna have to come in this day. Why? Because you're on salary. I used to feel that way about uh, about band. They'd be like, oh yeah, you gotta come to this football game tonight. I'm like, I don't wanna go to this fucking football game tonight. I'm not at school, why do I have to do this shit? That's part of your grade. You can't just add on days, out extracurricular activities that you want me to be at that are part of my days. I didn't sign up for this fucking shit. So I kinda hated band. Kinda hated that whole experience. It was really kind of unpleasant. But it's over. Haven't thought about that in a long time. Thanks for that, Kate. More stuff we want to sell here? Not really. Got a lot of stuff in our inventory, though. We're getting rid of one of those. Salary first, then time and a half, right? Like, that makes sense to me, but my mother is a midwife, and she is on call a lot. And part of being on call is they don't... The way that her hours are... The way that she kind of does hours, like, yes... When she's, she's technically on call, but she's on call for like a million hours a week. And that's fine if there's not a lot of call. If there's a moderate amount of call, then sure, she, she doesn't get taken advantage of. But if there's a fuck ton of call, like there's a, you know, like, her, like all the hours she's on call, she's working. The number of hours she works in a week is ridiculous. I just don't understand how that can be, can get away with stuff like that. All right, do we want to try 130 for nimble, more nimble procs? Nike has just got knocked out with 130 on. You want to try 130 on this guy? Do I want to roll different percentages? I like the at least 50% evasion. Let's, let's just try 130 here. Anyways. Please from going terribly. Yeah, I, I certainly played my instrument terribly. There's no, there's no denying that. Um, all right, uh, let's go. Do they have tools here? Because that would be the thing I do need. Ooh, I can feel that whiskey ticking away behind my brain. Fucking up my decision making. Who doesn't love alcohol? Oh no! Kex and Deacon both got drunk. Alright, are they on the front lines? Deacon is wounded, it doesn't matter. Kex being drunk is a bit of a problem. Alright, uh, let's go poke our head up into Grunfeld, and then we're gonna go look for one of the Merc- uh, the, uh... Noble armies. Maybe see if we can jump a knight. Cultist. Oh, come on, cultist. I believe cultist sacrifice somebody. You're a cheerleader and theater geek. I feel like it's funny. It's funny how things change. Oh man! All right, we got three guys to roll on here, maybe even four. I want, I want a mega. Give me a mega. 
seven defense roll, plus five and triple stars. Okay, you got the plus five. That's nine, but there's no stars. You gotta have stars. There's no, I'm not seeing stars. Get him out of here. Failed his, he failed his audition. Let's try this guy. I didn't do uh, theater. I, I think I might have enjoyed that, but I didn't, I didn't do that. I did, uh, in high school, I did ski team. I did, uh, it's all shit again. What else did I do? I did chess club. I founded a chess club at my school because I like games and I like chess. I did, what else did I fucking do extracurricular wise? Not a whole lot really. I played a lot of video games in high school. Who would have guessed? Let's get rid of that. There must have been more than that though. What else did I do? Did mock trial. That was kind of a waste of my time. I enjoyed parts of that, but not other parts of that. Went on to these. I need this 110 piece. If I want to go down as low as 110, that's a backup piece of armor, I guess. All right, we're starting to accumulate a lot of armor. Oh, tools. Glorious tools. And I need arrows. And I kind of need a little bit of food. So we only have three days worth. Let's grab some seven. Oh, yeah, this is where we get the sweet, sweet, crispy bread rolls. Oh, is this a terrorizes? Probably not. All right, looking for one of those. Do I want to steal the peasants' lunch money? Give me your lunch money, peasants. Give it to me. Yeah, I played tournaments. I was first board on my chess club, whatever that's fucking worth. Peasants, what do you got? Ten bucks. We killed all the peasants for ten bucks and a knife. It's fucking value. All right, what do I want for fighting this? I want this type of shield. I do not want. Hmm. Can't have drunks fighting this. Can be a little careful here. Uh, this is a very easy way to lose guys at this stage in the game. Because these fights are nasty. I'd really like a couple more archers in here. How long are my archers? One to two days. One to three days. I have 11 of 12 in here. I don't want a fucking bannerman in this fight either. Chris is not yet healed. Goddamn, Kex is drunk. I'd like to get to the southern city. Shit seems to pop out of these cities when I go near them. Alright, we'll go to the southern city, hope that our status effects are removed, and then we'll go look for that big camp. I haven't been down here in a while. Nice. Oh, Maldina. Alright. Farmhand. Cell sword. We're going to roll on both of those. Starting with the farmhand because it's almost certainly going to be dismissed. Oh, look. He's dismissed. Okay. Take a look at the cell sword. Ulf. Ulf the cell sword. 
Uh, 67, no stars. Range defense roll. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Buy all. F I mean, 67 is a great roll. You just need some. And 13 is a great roll. I mean, look at this. If we look at this, this is going to be 87. This is going to be 33. Those are really good stats. If there's some stars there, this would be incredible. They have, they're, they're loaded on tools. If you want to find tools, this is where you go, apparently. Fifty, seventy, ninety-three. I'll go up to a hundred, even though I'm overpaying for it. Let's take a look at their tavern. Not you, Kex. You stay home. Had a few too many already. is done being drunk and he's not even hung over and it's practice good I want to go bust camps more but this game really hasn't been about that it's a merc mercenary group mercenary groups have had that pretty nice loot overall We'll go deal with that. A banner bro here. I really need a banner bro here. Kind of want to bring our duelist. Should assign some points. Oh, no, I can bring one of the noobs to this. This is fine. Maybe even both the noobs. Yep. Both the noobs to this. Plenty of ranged here. Okay. Helix, I'm trying my best, man. I'm ready for you to sacrifice. It's gonna, you know who it's gonna be, of course. It's 100% gonna be our best archer. It's 100%. It's not even in the fight. It's gonna be our best archer. But I don't even care. It's fine. Oh, God. All right. Free wound on Noob from K. Uh, any gear I want here. I think those are hunting bows. It's 210 gear. It's two, there's a lot of fucking gear here. These boys are geared out. That's a 190. That's a that's a 90 helm. I want that. You give that to me. Too bad it's suicide damage. No, I don't really want more 210 gear right now. That's 230 gear. We missed the dog. 68. This dog is noxious. <laughs> Another miss. A 77. That this dog is lucky. Lucky dog. I want his gear, don't care about him. I want to just fuck that guy's day up. End of turn, I wanted to shield wall. It's not intentional. Don't 
that will miss. Oh god, the nets! No, Kex. It's a bad habit. Oh, God. So, how important is this gear to me? It's not that important. What's my plus head percentage right now? 15. That's real important to me. That's kind of not that important. I'd like to take one of theirs. Spear is harder to deal with. Two very bad rolls there. I want that guy dead without him taking any damage. So I need to. Kill that thing in the back. How am I gonna do that? I need a taunt over here is what I need. Mercenaries are awkward to deal with. For sure. And I think I decided I'm killing the spear, right? Is totally not fucking acceptable. Well, fuck. Rip noob from K. This is the third attempt at over 70% to break this fucking net. We didn't break it. Try to bait some damage. Nope. 
One health. Man is stunned, he still blocks a lot. I can protect him the round after next, but can't protect him this round. Why oh, stun him again? He's already stunned. Oh, don't block the stun! He's 100% dead. Oh, you finally broke the net. Good job. Another hit, but he's alive. Still fucking alive. All right, looks like Noob from K is gonna live. That was a close thing. Fleeing is good for us. Go the fuck away. Dog's gonna be in the way, it's the only issue right now. Fucking mercenaries. Nasty. Seemed like a lot of fist pump damage. Stop doing damage to his helm, dog. I regret the moment. I regret the moment I allowed you to be alive, puppy.
Got the 90 helm. <laughs> that was not a uh, relaxing fight. Mercenaries seem to never be very relaxing. They have very accurate, do a lot of damage. We put uh, three wounds on our bannermen, left them at one health. Okay. Lord Solar Steve. Also in rough shape, three wounds. Exciting. Okay. I'm missing a nose again, Cubix. Uh, no, Cubix, you are uh, broken elbow joint. Scrub-a-dubs. No one's really interested in scrub-a-dubs. Poke head down this way. Training caravan. We will gank the living piss out of that. Good. Uh, anyone who needs leveling? No, not particularly. Uh... Fine with this group. Who did we almost lose? Two dudes. Where's Galg? There. Okay. Oh yeah, if you were if you uh if you sacrifice someone, I would instantly retire you for sure. Well, maybe not. Maybe try for the headpiece too, but you get the idea. They're not charging me, I'm surprised. The donkeys won't save you here, peasant bros. Uh, do you guys get experience in the being on the battlefield even if they don't kill someone? Yes, yes they do. Uh, the experience in this game is, I think it's, you, you do get experience, extra experience for being the person to do the last hit, but I think you get the bulk of the experience, if I can recall correctly, for just being there. How do you define living piss? Not a question I've ever had to answer. Maybe I can make a guide video about it someday. That's right. Participation trophies. Wasted attack, really. That's so lucky that guy didn't die. He's at one health.
I love the boat's proc uh, responses. I want to see if you can fight a boat.